Hi, um, recently Microsoft, because of some copyright um, infringement um, law case, have changed that way that they uh, embed um, movies. In this particular case, we're talking about uh, SWF SWIFT movies from Flash into um, into in Internet Explorer. Um, let me try and show you the problem. Um, is a site that um, is basically um, totally um, flash, totally created in flash, and whereas it used to open quite nicely before, now what happens is you get this horrible little box. I don't know if you can see that box flashing up and down, but also if you keep your mouse steady enough, it then says click to activate this and use this control, and you you then have to to click on it. So if you've got buttons, they won't. They have to be clicked on twice, which is annoying. Um, it's even f more annoying, you know, um, for people that have got uh, who have created sites that are um, mixed HTML and several SWAF files in the uh, in the same page, because each one has to be clicked on and activated before it actually works. Um, Macromedia or Adobe now, I suppose have um, released um, a fix for this um, and the link here is http www.adobe.com support flash downloads html um, if you go to that site um, they will actually um, you can actually download an active content update uh, and basically this video is to show you how to um, use that active content update um, once you've downloaded it. So go to the site, download it, install it, um, follow the instructions and that's it. So here I have now in, I'm in um, Macromedia Flash, um, the this is just to show you basically just we're in flash it's uh, just to give you a title um, the thing is what I would have normally done was to go to flash um, publish settings I've moved this down a second so the publish settings would be flash only um, I'd probably change that to best um, I'm going to move that up again and then a bit more uh -huh. and then click on the OK button um, and then I'd go file, publish preview, default HTML, and that's that's it now, published. And there's the page. Again, what happens here is you've got this annoying box that comes around it, and you've got this click to activate to use this control section. So okay, uh, how how do we use this? Um, this download that we um, we've just downloaded and how we how do we do it? What you have to do is go into File, Publish Settings. On the HTML page, instead of Flash only, go to Active Content Update HTTP. Select that. Go up the page. Click OK. Right now, when we go File. Publish preview, default HTML. We get this box comes up here. Microsoft Internet Explorer. This page requires AC run active content JS, which is a Java file. In Flash, run the apply active content update in the commands menu and to copy the AC run active content JS to the HTML folder. OK. So we have got another step we've got to take here now. So we go into the commands. Apply active content update is what we've got to do. And it then opens this window. Select the published HTML file. And um, the selected HTML file here is active content update HTML. Click on the open. It says active content update was successfully applied. File. Publish preview. 
and here we have the Internet Explorer but this time you'll notice that there's no longer the box around it it, 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 it it's it's already to, to use so if you had buttons on there you wouldn't have to click the buttons a second time and everything would work fine all you have to do is to remember to up upload the JavaScript um, file that you made with the rest of the files anyway I hope this helps thanks very much cheers